What's up guys, this is the Roy from and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run what happened last time, we successfully secured the continent and we are building up our forces to advance across into Europe. And it has been pointed out before that the uh, Newfoundland is still not, is not in our territory. Um, I've kind of ignored it because it's not directly part of our continent. Right now I'm satisfied with what we've got. Um, if France seeks further war, then it will become a target, as will these two territories down here. Um, but for now, I think we're okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to move this army back. I might move them back to Boston. Ooh, you can't make it in one trip, so you're going to stay where you are for now. Um, but yeah, let's get ready to build these guys up as my next... Or at least is my US theatre army. Looks like I need to upgrade my next level of barracks in Boston. But we are getting fired by rank, which is positive. So the hope is that we can hop over to Europe and secure Morocco. Um, it would give us an. It would ultimately end up bringing us into war with Spain. Which would be good, because Spain has lots of useful colonies, which we would then capture. Um, Cuban, uh, Santo Domingo would immediately be priority targets to secure them. Um, and then, depending on what new Spain does, um, probably take Mexico City, because Mexico City is a very valuable province with lots of mines. But I think we've done everything we can do. Denmark we're trading with. Everyone seems okay. We've got... We haven't got a whole lot of money to play with. Cool. Um, I would very much like to take Britain, but I think our relations with Britain are very good. Um, so I'd almost like to... Uh, I don't know, am I allied with anyone? I'm allied with the native states. I don't know, I think I'd like to expand just a little bit more before I take out the British Isles, mainly because I think it would be worthwhile making sure I'm in that good position. Let's hit end turn. So I believe we've got an army crossing the Atlantic, ready to move on Morocco. So I'd like to take Morocco and then move um, across North Africa. The regions aren't themselves aren't very wealthy, but they do provide they provide some wealth and they provide us a good uh, staging base for operations in Europe. Maybe start, maybe I might knock out some of the Italian states depending on what the relations are like. Oh, a gentleman has been recruited. So he can go to my own university. Well, I think I want to build one in Harrisburg. If I can. Good. Next level plantations. Oh no, it's down here in Charlotte. That's where it is, isn't it? That's where our next university is. Fleet arrives. They've crossed the channel. They've crossed the Atlantic. Oh, that's not great. I can't... Well, I'm not out... Mm. So I'm uneasy. Because I'm not at war with... Well, I'm not at war with anyone here, so there's no reason why they should kill me. Except for the Barbary States. But they do not have the legs to make it to Morocco in one fell swoop. So I very much want to stay in the fog of war. Maybe a bit closer. But next turn, get ready to land a Morocco. That's a very vulnerable position. Yep, there's the recruitment of a new... Well, the recruitment of a new army in Philadelphia. So let's take our forces here. Oh, they, they can't... No, they definitely can't... I don't know why they can't make it in one hop. Because they got there in one hop. Well, in which case then, let's build up a bit of a navy. Well, let's start... So that's two, roof, two fifth rates. Probably going to have to start setting Charlotte to start researching some of these naval techs. 
letter of demands from the Leeward Islands. Oh, it's a good job I didn't evict them. I'm sure I probably I'm sure I've done this already. So, no, that's the wrong way. Bring him back to the Leeward Islands. Not on strike anymore. Good stuff. Montreal's probably the best candidate for my money at the moment. Because Naples is not earning me very much at all. So let's go for our government chambers there. And let's get another fifth. Cool. In turn. And this is the tricky bit. Will they leave our army alone? And I'm... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't very nervous. Theoretically, I don't think there's anyone I'm at war with who would actually take advantage of it. But that's not to say I've not forgotten someone or something. Mm, the Mughals are up to no good. But I think we might, might have got away with it. Um, no. Oh, I'll go. <laughs> For some reason I thought the pirates were going to get me. But they're on the other side of the world. Okay. So get Charlotte, start researching. Uh, Sexton would be quite good, because I've got a large empire, but at the same time naval shore facilities would also be good. Maybe Sexton is the more immediately pressing issue. Charlotte's okay. Let's get to college. Get two units of Hessian line. So, just one last check, because Morocco shouldn't have any big enemies. Oh no, they, they are on their own. I thought, oh no, there they are. Sorry, I was like, oh, that's not many nations. No, they're a protector of Dagestan. Declare war, not call my allies in, because I don't need them. Dagestan has joined them, but they are landlocked, so they can't do anything to me. Can't pirate these lands because they have no value. There's the Spanish. So I might move my navy into their shipyard. Well, they may try and push me off. Crimea has been destroyed. Was I trading with Crimea? Nope. So there's no new slots. Let's see if I can unilaterally make peace. Sad face. But yes, Dagestan's over here. So can't really affect me very much. So Prussia's taking its usual position in the centre. France is pushing on the Netherlands. Fingers crossed they win. Good. Our army's being built. Lots of good trade income. But I can't take advantage of it yet out of by building things. So, militia cost 160 upkeep. Sloop cost me 150 upkeep. And it cost me 528 to build. Militia cost me 600, so sloops are the superior version of garrisoning ports than than uh, militia, it would seem. Cool. Oh, gentleman here is on the move. So, 
Paris Burke, no, Harford's got two. Charlotte's going to have two. So let's get you to Hartford. Good stuff. Landscape Gardener. Minus one happiness, plus two happiness. Plus ten percent cost of farm buildings. That's annoying. Eh. Tempted to boot him, but he seems to be okay. So, and there's going to be an election next turn, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, so let's hit end turn and see what happens. Our priest is on the move. See, so yeah, when I take Morocco, I'm going to immediately want to build walls because I can't stop the Spanish navy from crossing. So they will attack me if they're going to attack me. And I'm going to have to get ready to repel them in the future, at least. So my expansion eastwards may not be immediate. I may want to build up a garrison and um, some fortifications to make sure I don't run afoul. Oh, I'm not in the mood fighting this. I've got two guns each. Boom. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. No, I don't want you, actually. I want the money. So I'm okay with having these individual steps on the way to attacking Morocco because I'm getting closer and closer and closer to unlocking fire by rank. So I'm okay with it taking that long. Like I'm not going to attack them on turn one. I'm going to maintain. I'm going to lay them, um, put them under siege. Okay, so all our ministers are still here except for this chap, Tyler Phelps, who's our justice minister. Let's take a gamble. Oh, that didn't work. Down from four to three. Military governor's back, so can I move my troops out yet? Waiting for your orders. Forward. They're still very unhappy, so... Yes, sir. In the meantime... I'm not sure what the... I'm not sure what the best units are for garrison duty, so I'm probably going to get colonial light and some militia. That seems like a fluffy thing you'd have as a bit of a garrison. Mm -hmm, the navy's being built. Go join them in Guadeloupe. The sloop here's been built, so this militia unit can be disbanded. Won't save me very much in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, I'll take it. For Nashwack, let's get your government's chambers. Or do I? I'm going to earn 8,000 next turn, probably because someone's under embargo. Just 8,000 next turn. Your Majesty. I mean, I'm going to have to do that. Then maintain under siege. Two turns to we get fire by rank. Potentially a bit more now. My gentleman's not going to get there quickly enough to properly influence it. So let's have a look at where the nearest Montreal. How may I serve? Start converting Montreal. So I may as well build this. Cool. So let's hit end turn. Because once we get Sexton, we'll get the upgrade which allows us to build larger ports. Because that's quite a useful and pretty critical thing for an empire which is relying on exports. Well, I'm more than happy to let the pirates run around and be up to no good. <gasps> I saw a Spanish fleet with an army embarked. No! The... Oh. God damn it. How can they do that? Then my army's immediately 
Oh, I'm going to declare on Spain. Sorry, Spain, that's happening. We're going after Cuba. We were ceding that. I'm taking that as a proper, not declaration of war, but just interference. That's it. So let's go after. Let's go after Spanish, the Spanish holdings. We can't. Oh. See, this is why I'd be no good as a leader of a country. As soon as they immediately screw us over, I'd be so, so Trumpian in that respect. That's why I would never be good. You screw us over? Well, F you. We're going to go and... <laughs> we're going to do this, this, and this. Immediately. Just because, screw you, you can't do this to us. <laughs> Whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing, I would just do it. So my guys have been catapulted immediately back to the Americas. Because I have no access agreements with Spain. Rankle me. See? Tactical retreat across the Atlantic. Oh. Come with us. I might land here just so I can engage this army and destroy it. So maybe San Santo Domingo first. First, let's build the Great. Parliament. So let's take one of your ships. Let's take Vigo. Bring him back up to New York. God, that's so frustrating. But at least we have fire by ranks. We'll absolutely decimate their forces. So Morocco's gone. God, that's so annoying. Okay, hit end turn. I do also need to be aware that the the native factions may may stab me in the back and may betray me because they are the AI. That is the natural way of things. So the prudent decision, I think, will be to keep an army back or a strong force in either Boston or Philadelphia and just have them as a contingency in case something sneaky happens and that's why I'm a bit concerned about Charleston all the way down there to the south because it's a bit isolated and the Cherokee are in prime position to take advantage of it but if I'm going to be declaring on Spain I'm going to want to invest in my navy and trade. Because I need the strong navy to defeat the Spanish navy. And I'll want the want the trade to take advantage of all the resources I have. And also to... I don't know where I was going with that. I want a strong trade empire because it's worth lots of money. And I'll need a sudden cash influx. So I'm going to declare on the Spanish. Actually, I might do some shuffling so we can bring this fifth down here. Bring them into there. Embark. Andrew Hamilton's army. So who's at war with Spain? This would be a big old declaration of war. But let's mix it up. Sorry about that guys, the random black black screen has come back. Like our dread sovereign has little time to consider your mulings. Screw you guys, we're gonna take your stuff. <gasps> Ooh! And declaring on Venice also opens up the opportunity to take this territory over here. So, Noel Croft, you will immediately make plans. Ooh, okay, hold on. Quest of military access. 
Good. Diplomacy. Wait, can, I, can we even get to the Caribbean first? Yes, we can. So diplomacy. Spain. Declare war. Call our allies in. The Iroquois refuse to join our side, but are we still allies? Yes, we are. I didn't even read who joined who joined their side. Everyone. So be it. March onto Venice. Oh, Louisiana is still Louisiana, not France. Well, we're probably going to hop over here and take Martinique. Ooh, with me war on many fronts. So, you. Land your navy, your army outside Santo Domingo. It's probably going to lure their forces Waiting out. A brig in a fifth rate, I may... Okay, let's build a sloop to transport these guys and bring my other fifth to join this fleet to join Morgan in case they feel the need to come around and attack me. Because you hit Santo Domingo, you're on the march to Michigan. Uh, this guy down here next turn will land and take the Wimbled Islands. They would sail down here straight away, but I'm afraid of the pirates. So I may take the Wimbled Islands, then knock out the pirates and these guys fairly quickly. Okie dokie, we are at war with New Mexico and Genoa. Okay, so let's make sure our techs are on point. So, Hartford. So what do we want? Well, start to go for some of these easy... Maybe let's make Harford go for the new docks. Let's let Charlotte go for some of these easier agricultural and industry techs. Or actually, maybe you go for now you go for division of labour. That's very valuable. Let's get Charlotte on the naval on the uh, military techs. Not military techs. Actually, yeah. Let's keep you going for naval shore facilities. That's probably the best option. Let's drop a militia into the port. Just hold it for now. Good. Then in Boston. Drop some money on some 9 infantry and a 12 pounder cannon. If our fleet is returned from the Americas, this they will port, make port in New York. Michael Simpson you can start the long walk down to Mexico. The squadron replenish or repair their forces. <laughs> so he's got books, but he's not. Doesn't actually do anything to help him. So we are sup supposedly, according to the map, severely outgunned. Um, Take advances. We've got that sorted. Cool. End turn. But at least we brought Britain into the war. Ooh. Where have they... Where have they brought their army? Okay, here comes the Spanish Navy. But now we've got the Royal Navy on our side. Oh yes, abs. Do I want? Yeah, I want them to attack me, not vice versa. So let's do this. While this part necessarily didn't go the way I planned, <laughs> um, it's still good. We've got lots of opportunities to scrap against various nations, various parts of the world. And I would like to try and selectively make peace peace 
Okay, so let's deploy our guns together. Let's go look at the 13 colonies marines. They're pretty good. Let's so get these champs on the left. These guys get ready to deploy on the right. All just rangers can skirmish in the trees. Oh, does not deploy. Hmm. You're also going to deploy on this flank. Cavalry is going to be up here too. General up here as well. That's a bit thin. Got a cover on the move. Okay, so let's turn turn our flank so we can get our rangers into the mix. Yep, so let's get them to hit that native bowman auxiliary immediately. Sorry, native Spanish. This is what happens when you side with the Spanish. Keep chasing them down. Let's get back to my... Cavalry. Yeah, they're chopping them up. And they're just going to get absolutely destroyed by a fire by rank. Good stuff. So it's kind of a good idea that we've, we're at war with everyone so quickly because it allows us to take maximum advantage of our technological superiority. Holy moly. Sneaky, sneaky bows. Come on, Hessian line, make ready. Fire. my infantry and get my cavalry into the mix. Come back and smash into him. The general's got something to say to you. And you will not like it. It's the point blank fire of a musket fire has driven off one bow unit. General should be safe. Cavalry's gonna mop up that native bowman. He's having a grand, grand old time against these bows on the flank. This cavalry is about to absolutely eviscerate these native bows. See, this unit is actually showing the, de the deadly effect that the bows can have. Ooh, these poor militia are about to... They're going to get attacked. Every guy that runs through there. Oh no, most of them are going to get through. Here comes their general. Cowardly dog. Let's 
than they are, right? They're out here somewhere. Well, I think they're about there. So let's get my infantry over. Keep killing them. Understandably, my militia are... My skirmishers are a bit unhappy about being picked off so easily. Grenadiers can have a go. So can you. Let's get my artillery to hit. To, to not hit anyone. There they are, they're here. Charge on into the native bows. Set these this line up to go and engage them. It's just easier, easier to just charge in and attack the bows rather than waiting for them. There we go. Well, they're being drawn into battle against our glorious troops. Ideas and native bows alike. Well, I think that's going to be it. Let's speed up time a little bit. I want to continue just to try to get some more spurs on my general. I'm not so bothered about actually killing them. I just want to try get some... Oh, he's got one chevron. Because they're all going to escape pretty quickly. Especially as they change targets midway through. Close victory. We force them back from border. And there's not a lot they can do about it. Yep, they lost most of their men. This is what you get, Spain. You should have taken my territory. Should have just left us alone. But at least we have maintained. I wonder if, because Britain's our protectorate, if no matter who we declare on, they have to come with us. Maybe it's working in a reverse. Because the AI doesn't normally expect this country to be playable. So if someone attacks us, the AI is telling Britain they have to go with. I don't know, maybe. So I'm, I'm probably going to get a, a Venetian or Genoan navy coming out of nowhere with a stack. But at least I've got visibility. Go on then, Barbary States. If I'm not really fighting them immediately, then I'm okay with it. Make ready. Montreal's grown. Charlotte's now got a college. So our trade income has decreased significantly. So let's try and find new outlets for our trade goods, if at all possible. Oop, there aren't any, but that's why we're doing this research. Researching the next port tech. So if we could displace Newfoundland as well, that would be pretty good. Good, something like that. So you go blockade the port, make sure they don't flee. Take the capital. So let's 
So it's been the comments recently have been made that I be more civilized, and I think really that's a good idea. So situation like now. Siege broken. Hey, okay. <laughs> it worked. So Andrew Hamilton is now free. Men, further orders forward. They're not happy about it, but let's untax them That's for the now. Move Italians, them on to men. attack the last force on the island. Then we can say that what's happened in this part is we've secured Santo Domingo. So let's get ready. Should be fairly simple because they're pretty a good acting significant resistance. I don't know if anything I expect them to be fairly quick to capitulate. Let's put our artillery up on this hill. Form line. Form an almighty line. Infantry on one flank, general on the other. Cavalry on one flank, general on the other. Because this is all of their regular troops. There are still bowmen. I may run my regular troops. They've, got, they've actually got a decent distance to go. watching because they'll probably be like here slowly moving up but invisible and I'm reluctant to shrink my line start to curve it in more like this until I know what's going on over here Clear. So let's wrap my general around to keep him safe. There we go. And let's engage them with a massed musket fire. Ha! where they all are. This bow unit who will not be able to fire before I charge in. General's up there, but he's only seven men. The native bowmen. Oh, these are native warriors actually coming in now. These three continue to push towards the Spanish. 
Take out the general's bodyguard. Almost kill the general as well. This, nat this native bowman shouldn't feel too confident. General dead. No, nope, keep keep attacking. Keep chasing if you want, grenadiers. Complete an utter mass retreat. line then they know when they're beaten so who's that back there buccaneers yeah that's why I got some triple speed there's not really much point in worrying about this Especially once they get all their shots off against the Buccaneers. Continue, because like I said I want to get my general to be a bit more of a fighty general. Charge down the Buccaneers. The other, the other cavalry is already busy, so let's let this guy go to work. I don't know if it matters too much about what they kill. Like, I don't know if it matters if they're killing buccaneers rather than Hessian line infantry or something of that ilk. They're going to escape before my recovery gets in, I suppose. Well, no, they're running the other way now. Silly scamps. So I know they're probably dead because I'm attacking a port. But I've got another chevron on my general. So it's made it a bit better in combat. And then by earning some fun. Good stuff. So is it auto resolve against the fleet? Is that the fifth? It is. We'll take your ships. Set sail. You will rebuild. How much is it going to cost to replenish? More money than we have. Let's build... Let's upgrade this sugar plant... Well, upgrade this tobacco plantation, then we'll sort um, this out next turn. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And we will see you next time for the continued adventures of the 13 colonies. See you guys.